Hello lovelies, it's G here from Golden Thread Tarot. I am here to bring you your full moon for March uh, channeled message. I hope this message is finding you blessed and full of abundance as always my sweets. Now this full moon is going to be a full moon in Virgo. It's going to be happening on March the 18th. So whether you're finding this video before, during, after, whatever, it's going to help you. The energy of the new, of, um, new moon and the full moon lasts six days before, six days after, but it really lasts all the way until the next full moon cycle right so you have over the next month right to really uh, cash in on this kind of energy and to allow this to really um, help you release everything that you need to release right because full moons are about drawing things up to the surface that we need to release that we need to let go of that we need to make sure that we are kind of keeping ourselves in check about right as always so I'm being really guided to hold this in my hand so let's keep going I have some notes as usual I'm just going to read off these notes and then we'll get into the uh, card portion as always okay so release any feelings of being overly self-critical okay yes you are good enough yes you are doing it yes you are on your journey yes you are making it um even if you're not as far along as you thought you might have wanted to be at this point release that let it go also just being less judgmental all the way around right really catching yourself in any kind of like harsh judgments or harsh talk to yourself or about anybody else right um, I really feel like some of that was coming up in some of the past months we've been going through so that we could purge it and let go of it. And I feel like we're really releasing a lot of that energy, um, like letting go of like the last little bit of it and being like, yeah, like I just need to kind of let go of that, of being really um, judgment, any kind of judgmental energy, no matter how small or how big it is, just kind of letting people do what they do, right? And letting them just be who they want to be. Also, stop over or start sorry stop underestimating your power right that also goes along with being too self-critical you are on it you are doing it right so stop underestimating yourself stop cutting down yourself stop um being too overly critical or too in anything right where you're just so um like there's nothing wrong because the Vir Virgo is really about like organiza organization and paying attention to the small details, but learning how to do that without being an overly judgmental or overly critical about what you're paying attention to, right? So really working on the ability to, to vitalize, you know, to take advantage of the really good positive aspects and let go of any of the kind of like negative aspects that you might have had about it okay um especially if you're being too nitpicky or too you know towards a partner or towards partnerships kind of letting go and letting people kind of be who they are and also giving that to yourself as well this is a great time to get grounded and stay connected to your true self i heard uh 12 12 so be on the lookout for any kind of 12 12s or just 12 okay um I was also hearing uh, like the star card. Okay, I was hearing star card. I was hearing Aquarius energy and I was seeing the show the world, the real you card that's in the uh, new Moonology deck. We'll also be getting into that. We'll be using that Oracle deck, okay? Ha and then it's really good time to be asking yourself, be if in the past you have been too overly critical of things, has that kept you in a state of not being grateful for the things that you do have, right? If you are concentrating on nitpicking on all the things that are wrong, um, maybe perhaps it is stopping you from being really as grateful as you could possibly be about all the great positive things that are really flowing into your life, right? About all the really great positive things and the great kind of like sunny aspects of what's really happening, right? So spend this time this next month checking in with your ancestors if you keep an offer an altar excuse me or, or if you offer offerings to your ancestors check in with them right check in with them keep uh, this is a good time to cleanse out smoke cleanse just clean in general your altar space or your prayer space your spiritual space whatever it is you know so even if your spiritual space is like well i just meditate on my bed okay so arrange your bedroom clear off your shelves dust do all that you know do some deep cleaning around your spaces where you spend a lot of time doing your spiritual work right or any kind of spiritual anything like that also obviously you know if you have an altar if you have an ancestor place where you offer those check in have those uh, like set aside meditations where you are specifically opening yourself up to your positive love and light ancestors and telling me and asking them is there anything that you need is there anything you want me to buy you is there anything you want me to give you is there any kind of specific 
um, things. If, if you know that you have a particular uh, goddess or a particular deity or a particular um, god or a particular energy, you know, that you really want to invite into your house, do the research on them. Look, look it up, you know, look up the stories on them. Know what that particular, historically, what that particular god or deity has, has offerings, you know, has offerings, what kind of fruits or what kind of spirits or wine or something like that that they really appreciate. If you know that you have some Passover ancestors that, you know, if you have a particular Passover ancestor that you know watches over you or you want to be near you, um, you know, that has a good influence over you. If you know you don't, if you know they like to smoke cigars or something like that, put a cigar for them out on and say, you know, and let them know, hey, I'm putting this here for you. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Thank you for all the love, light, and protection that you're always giving me. I really appreciate you. I do not mind giving back to you for all of the spiritual guidance and love that you give to me, right? So really be listening out, listening. If you're walking to the grocery store, if you're going to the store, go to your altar space, sit down, say a prayer, say, hey, guide me towards something that you would really like me to be on the altar. Let me know if there's something that you would really like, if something, if you want me to start keeping around for you, whether or not it can be something as simple as burning a specific candle in their name, saying a prayer, lighting a candle for them, praying and hoping that they are in the best place, that they are going about their journey, you know, that they're releasing and they're feeling good on their spiritual journey as well, right? No matter where they are in the world, even if it's something as simple as that, right? Or if you know there is a particular flower, a particular smell, or a particular oil, or something that you know that your ancestors really like, go ahead and give it back to them and tell, you know, clean the space, organize it, set it up, put some new things in there, change out some things that, you know, maybe you're like, okay, this is getting a little bit old, or maybe, you know, unless it's something that your ancestors are really like, don't touch this, leave it, then <laughs> okay, right? Um, but if there's something that you need to exchange, that you need to move around, Maybe perhaps if you have dishes or glasses or anything that need to be cleaned out, you know, take them down, clean them, polish them, put them back up, you know, say a prayer, spend some time with your ancestors and your spirits and your guides this month and just really be giving back in gratitude and showing them how grateful you are for how much energy and how much love they give you on a daily basis, right? So that's a good time to do that. And I felt that so deeply in my heart chakra. So definitely some of you are like, some of you have been probably getting the inclination. You're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then this also could be a really good time with kind of spring, at least where I am. Spring is coming back around, you know, my ancestors. They also like me to put, like, plants and things like that. So check on the plants that you have. If you have fresh-growing plants, see, check on your plants and see if they need to be repotted. See if they needed to, you know, if they need to be pruned. If there's something, you know, some leaves that you need to trim off them. Um, if they need to be um, fertilized or anything like that. Pay attention to that stuff, too, as well, Okay. Um, or, you know, maybe check in and be like, hey, spring is coming around. Do you want me to keep fresh flowers around? Do you want me to plant a plant and, and put it over here, you know, and put something colorful or do an art project together, you know? I just saw somebody like sitting down and, um, oh my gosh, I'm almost crying. Oh, this is so strong. I see somebody... Um, sitting down and like doing an art project or doing some kind of painting or something or taking a picture of them of them with their kids and then like setting it up on the altar and you know saying hey we paint this 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 painting for grandma you know or something like that and setting it up there so whew, oh my gosh or if somebody did that like your spirit guides are coming through to say like oh my god that touched me so deeply like they're so grateful for it they're just like I come through and it, you know I get I got that love I got that message from you and I, I just love you so much right so who forgive me, but that just came through so strong, you guys. Wow. Who? Okay. Also, a little side note, just some, uh, another part of giving back to actual people, you know, <laughs> live people who are actually around you, right? If somebody has given you something, if somebody really, you know, they kind of even if it was something small, you know, if they went out of their way to help you do something or picked up your dry cleaning or did a little errand for you or do something, sit down and get a little note and hand write them out a thank you note, okay? So that was a little side project. If it's something that really, that seems like it would suit your fancy, you know, like, or get a postcard, right? Get a postcard, send it to somebody that you know would really appreciate it. Hey, I'm just really thinking about you or write a letter to somebody. Kind of put, you know, kind of do the old school thing to put in the effort to sit down, to write out a note, to write out a thank you card. I appreciate this so much. You know, um, I was just really thinking about you. Thank you so much for doing this for me. You know, or maybe give them like, you know, something small, you know, oh, I just really appreciate you doing that for me. You know, um, here's like a little, some, a little small treat or a little something or bake them something, you know, or cook them a dish or something like that, you know, or, um, you know, if you were sick and somebody came and like helped you five, five, five down on the real time clock. That's so funny. Cause 
<laughs> I was telling, uh, I did another reading today and I was saying that I have seen all the major, um, 111, uh, 333, 444. And now I've seen 555 on the clock today. So really big synchronistic numbers to be paying attention to those as well. Now that they're showing themselves, I'll say that, you know, but if you knew that you got sick and somebody like made your dinner or did something like that, or if you know a friend is sick, you know, and you know that they're always there for you, um, show up and be like, Hey, uh, you know, hey, I, pick, I picked up your kids for you and I know that you were sick and I went and I got you, you know, I brought dinner over for you and your family so you don't have to get out of bed and, you know, you, you can just leave it on the front step. Don't think, you, have to, you know, but like, or if it's, you know, if they just have a little cold or something and you don't mind, go over and help them clean up or give something back, right? Um, but yeah, I really found that is um, that somebody here was really like, they would just love that so much. Um, even like I said, even if it's like a little something where you're just like, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. It's just something deeper than just like a text or a call, you know, to take the time to sit down and write out a note. I appreciate you. Your friendship means so much to me. You're always there for me. You're all supporting me. I love you so much. Thank you so much, you know? So, um, Ooh, people are emotional. <laughs> <laughs> people are really emo getting really emotional about this stuff, you know? So maybe, you know, releasing, you know, you guys maybe need to release this kind of stuff. Maybe you sending this will let this person release, let, let them cry, let them feel grateful, let them feel appreciated. 11, 11 down on the clock. So check in with that, okay? Release any energy that you have been given, okay, to anger, to jealousy, to worry, to arguments, or complaining, okay, release any of that energy as much as you can, right, if you find yourself uh, kind of feeding into any of that energy, stop yourself as much, you know, if you can, right, stop yourself and kind of try to transmute it, try to change it around, I'm not saying that you have to shame yourself for it, you don't have to shame yourself for it, but you can say, okay, I was angry about this, but I don't have to keep feeding into it. I'm not talking about, you know, something happens and that immediate reaction that you need to shut that down. But if you know something happened a couple of days ago and it's still bothering you, time has come to release it, right? The time has come to release it. Ask yourself, what's really going on? Do I need to have a conversation about this? Do I just, you know, do I just need to let it go and move on and really let it go? You know, what needs to happen so that I can release this and genuinely get over it, you know? get over it. Um, is there any, any thing or any steps that I can take towards this, you know, or do I just, you know, if it's something that's worrying you or something, it's like, have I, have I, you know, you know, cross my T's and dotted my I's? Have I, do I have everything set up? Is there anything I can do about it right now? No. Okay. Then worry doesn't help, right? Do something to change up your energy on that. Okay. Make a special note to focus on the good or positive abundance of events that are happening in your life, okay? Okay, if you're already doing this, that's great. Keep doing it, right? If you're already like, yeah, I've been doing that, good. Spirit saying, good, I acknowledge you. Keep doing it. You're doing a great job, okay? Draw in the energy, okay? Draw in your energy and pay close attention to the practical side of your um, situation. Okay. So this is a good time, like I said, right? So take advantage of the good positive side of the Virgo energy, which is, Hey, if you have a particular situation that, that you need to be paying attention to the small details of right now is a great time to really allow yourself to zoom in, pay attention, make sure that you have everything in organization, that you have your papers all printed out, that you have everything in a nice little folder and you have everything organized and it's doing really good, right? Release any, so that can help you release any kind of worry or anything you can have about it. It, right um so it's like you are prepared you know that you're prepared for a situation so use this good positive virgo energy side right release any of the negative judgment overly critical side of it and just lean more into the okay how can i use this energy in a really positive way over the next month okay this is big planning and organizing energy okay so play pay close attention to the details it's great right don't overly crit be overly critical of the details or nitpicky right but pay attention to the details because they're going to be standing out to you so take advantage of that and do projects that you know need to be detail oriented uh it's like oh right now is a good time to do this project right whoops okay um yeah that's probably why I've been doing all this heart chakra opening because I was because <laughs> I was asked to really this is a really good like deep heart chakra. Um, this is is it rhodochrosi or rhodocyte? I think it's rhodochrosi. Um, I always confuse this. 
as to what it is because it has so much pink in it and it barely has any of the the black that it normally has but anyway this is really great stone for releasing any grudges and a really really deep heart chakra opening work okay definitely especially the combination between this and this rose quartz as well is really good for all of that right and that's really good for opening that up showing giving back in that gratitude the highest energy that you can be in right is joy happiness and gratitude right so really pay you know right be detail oriented when you're cleaning up when you're paying attention you know when you're like okay i know that they would like this 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 and that so i'm gonna get it all for them you know um don't overspend or anything you know but pay attention to the details of it so use that in its positive way and release in anything in its negative side right okay so um try to relax okay i know that it's hard in the virgo energy to try to relax but try to relax as much as you, you can and get ready to stay in the flow and stay on your toes right so there is this kind of staying on your toes stay as relaxed as you can because the detail use this energy right now to really hammer out the details of a situation so that later on you can relax and be like whoop I already paid attention to that. Whoop, I already got that handled. Yep, I already handled that. Yep, I already paid that. Yep, I already have this all set up. Yep, I already went through my emails and did everything I needed to do. Yep, mm hmm right? And now you get to relax and just allow that flow energy to come in, right? Staying in that gratitude and giving back allows that flow, that natural give and take, give and take flow to really come into your life, right? So uh, getting it more into the cards that I was um, channeling, I got the Hierophant energy, High Priestess, King and Queen of Pentacles, the Star card, which I already said, the Empress energy, and the Six of Pentacles as well. That's that flow energy, okay? Um, I'm, I'm getting learning, learning to draw in and expand internally and go for the balance. So I'm getting temperance energy from that. Ten of Pentacles, setting up long-lasting stability. The lovers, okay, so also Gemini energy um, with communication is really key right now. Paying attention to the close details of how you say things, when you do things, but not being so overly critical of other people as well, right? Uh, the lovers, okay, and lots of lower chakra energy, which is funny because I have a lower chakra meditation playing right now that just happened to play, happened to line itself up and play. Um, after I got through with my first, um, cause I had, uh, releasing negativity kind of inner, um, meditation playing. And then this lower chakra energy just started playing at the end of my other video. And then it <laughs> started playing in this video. So that's really funny. All right. Well, thank you guys for that. Um, I really appreciate you guys for sitting through that, <laughs> uh, but it was really good, right? I had a lot to say, and so did your spirit guides, so lots of details in this. So let's go ahead and get into it. How do you want to get into this? You want to get into this later? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Virgo energy right off the bat. A time to give rather than take. Exactly what I was saying, right? It's a time to give back to your ancestors. Give back in gratitude and be grateful. That's what's going to help this new star energy coming in. So let's tap into the energy coming in for the collective based on this energy around this new, this full moon, sorry, full moon in Virgo. Full moon in Virgo. You are good enough for this energy, right? There's a new romantic cycle beginning here in this situation, okay? And I did see that nothing, nothing excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah, so with this, uh, nothing will come with this situation. I was getting more of that kind of like nitpicking side of it, right? The answers that you need are coming in this situation. So understand that. You got some answers coming towards you as well. Oh, wow. Okay, this didn't show itself. So let's keep that. And there it is. Show the world the real you. Right? On the back of the deck. So hold your vision because the energy is gaining momentum. And understand, right? A win win outcome is forecast coming into this situation for you, right? Understand that you are good enough. You can handle this. You can do this, right? Um, you have a guardian. Okay? So, so somebody is definitely watching over you. Also, just more ancestor energy, you know? And that showing the world the real you energy. A lot of Aquarian energy coming in for that as well. So what else do you want to talk about here? Hold your vision of the future is what I'm hearing your spirit guys say. Hold your vision of the future because the energy is going to kind of get wild is what I'm hearing in a good way. 
Um, wild in a good way to shake things up, to bring in new energy. Yeah, oh wow. So ten of wands, right? Somebody here is feeling overly burdened. Ten of wands, all right? But the nine of swords in reversed, right? It's like... Feeling a heavy burden, having a lot to deal with, but releasing anxiety or releasing worry, like releasing things that can't be controlled or too out of your control. Tell me more about this Ten of Wands here, please, if you would. That card's jumping around, but. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. So, exactly like I was saying, right? You're having. A lot to do here is a lot on your plate is what I'm getting, but without as much worry because you are, of course, Ten of Pentacles, like I said, right? Building that long lasting foundation. And that's why you're feeling this like serious need to be, you know, to put in that work for this, the full, right? You have a brand new beginning that you are hatching, that you are releasing, okay? So I understand you are good enough for this. You are talented enough for this. You can do this. You can handle this, right? You can do it. So keep, so hold your vision and let go as much of the fear of anxiety that you have about the situation. Hold your vision. Five of Pentacles. I saw that Five of Pentacles there. Why is this Six of Cups? Okay. So let's see. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. Hold your vision of this Queen of Pentacles energy of you having this abundance, drawing it in, manifesting this abundance, manifesting this long this long term. I definitely just feel like you're feeling the the gravity of the situation with this Ten of Wands. It's like I feel the gravity of the situation. There's a lot going on, right? But it's all setting up this Ten of Pentacles. It's worth the work, it's worth the burden of holding on to this, right? Hold your vision of you. Sorry, hold this vision. A lot of interruptions, right? So that the, the the kind of Knight of Pentacles energy might come out as well. So Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, hold your vision. Don't walk away from this. Don't give up, right? Don't give up. On, on this on this vision of yourself or on on this that you're working towards this queen of pentacles energy that you're working towards right you're earning it you're doing it you're bringing it in this abundance so don't walk away don't give up right some of you might be starting to feel like five of pentacles like uh, maybe i should just walk away maybe i'm feeling abandoned maybe i don't have what it takes right um my spirit is saying let go of this right? Let go of this nine of swords in reverse, right? Don't let this linger and hang over you. This is kind of like a, like a nightmare vision that you have in front of you that everything's going to fall apart or that everything's going to be taken away, right? You need to work on that. You need to work on your ability to, to, to stop being so judgmental or critical, right? Of that energy. Four of pinnacles because you're really holding on to that. Right? Or you could be holding on to some kind of lack or scarcity mentality that's really making you feel like um, three of wands. So yeah, like it's constantly always at a distance, something that you're constantly always working for and not something that's actually there in front of you that you can have. Right? But the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever you're giving energy to is going to be gaining momentum. Right? So make sure that you're giving that you're giving energy to I'm abundant, I'm successful, you know, and you're doing the practical things to ensure that. Right? Don't be scared to show your to show this Queen of Pentacles side of yourself, right? Show the world who you really are. Three of Swords. I really, <laughs> yeah, okay. With this Nine of Pentacles on the back of the deck here, and this Three of Swords coming out, I really feel like there's some heartbreak. But I'm, what I'm really getting from this, which I, you know, I'm, okay. So what Spirit saying, yeah, that's it. There are some people who are heartbroken here. Um, or you can be heartbroken over some things that happened in the past, right? You're a little heartbroken, like, can I let go of this, right? Can I let go of this Three of Swords energy, right? Energy might be gaining momentum for you to, like a tower moment might be happening here for you to turn this, right? To turn this Three of Swords so that you can shake off these swords and kind of dodge all these swords that are that are trying to come towards you so that you may, you know, 
understand that this is happening with a win-win outcome of, um, is forecast, right? If there's this three of swords, I really feel like it's also accepting things that happened in the past. It has a big past energy and finding, finding yourself into nine of pentacles, being independent from this past energy that was holding you back from past failures or past things that you just felt like really were holding you back. Yeah, the world card and the high priestess card here and the hierophant card, right? So commit yourself to to this energy. It's like you know it's coming, right? It's giving me very Piscean energy here with the two fish swimming around on this world card, right? You know instinctively, you know instinctively, High Priestess, that this new cycle is beginning, that it is coming. Don't doubt it. You've been investing so much in doing this. Don't doubt it now. Hold your vision because the energy is gaining momentum, right? But commit to this, the Hierophant. Commit to this vision that you have been manifesting, right? Why is this? Tell me more about this Three of Swords energy. Why is it here? Okay, I just heard somebody say, but first, okay, but first what? Oh. I'm finding, I'm finding out for me, at least maybe I just need to put more of my energy eventually into this deck because it is a new deck to me. I'm finding out for me personally, this deck doesn't like to clarify itself. It's like, I said what I said, we're just moving on. Like I'm like, yo, like can you, can you give me a little bit more clarity here um, on this situation? Thank you, justice. So spirit is saying justice, right? It's coming in for you. Things are balancing out. Please believe that. Please trust. Understand that any Three of Swords energy that you had in the past, anybody, anything that was hurting you, that was causing you heartbreak, that, you know, that the energy is gaining momentum for this justice to be seen in this situation for you, right? Page of Pentacles. You are getting, like, this opportunity here to get to get this clarity. Seven of Cups in reverse, right? To find your strength through all the things that happened to you in the past, right? Yeah. Things are narrowing down. Options are narrowing down so that you can see what's going to bring the best situation towards you. The energy is gaining momentum. Did this flip? I don't think so. Thank you. Six of Cups. Right. So there is also this feeling of right, the past. There is this feeling of nostalgia, of healing things from the past, Heal, getting this justice for things that were from the past. It's like taking yourself back. I'm also getting some reconciliation energy here as well. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's kind of like paying attention to the things from the past that might have been holding you back, releasing any of this judgmental energy about yourself, about mistakes that you made from the past, whether or not it's mistakes of, man, I really wish I had never gotten into that relationship, or man, you know, I, I hate that I put off doing such and such for so long, and I feel like I'm so far behind, or whatever the situation is, let go of that judgmental energy about yourself, right, towards yourself or towards other people, and, you know, and understand that everything is working out in your favor. So kind of, you know, it's like, let it go. Eight of Cups. Yeah, there's stuff that you're not letting go, that you're not walking away from, right? There, with this Nine of Cups in reverse, there might be even things that you're overindulging in, right? Whether or not, I'm really getting more like activities or thought processes that you're kind of allowing yourself to overindulge in, that you need to, that are actually causing this Three of Swords energy, so you actually need to let them go. Two of Pentacles, yeah, it's like you're juggling the past and, you know, between um, how you were in the past and how spirit is really trying to let you be, like let you go into the future, right? Keep this vision that you're trying to hold on to of this, but let go, right? Because the energy, but it is, it is like the energy is gaining momentum for you to let go of this three of swords energy. Justice is coming about for you in this situation. Like I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing like justice. In the past, you might have even referred to it as vengeance or something like that, but it's like, I feel like you're letting go of that or if you still feel like you need to get it's like 
I never got my say. I never got the job. I never got treated the way that I should have been treated. I never got my say and what I and how I needed to be in the past. I never got the, you know, the resolution that I really deserved in the past. And I really feel like the energy for that is like, it's like, don't worry. Um, that's coming back around to those. And I really feel like you're going to, a lot of this is like, okay, we're going to let you see this. We're going to let you see that there's people in the past that didn't do you so right or things from your childhood that justice is coming back around for you and these things that really cause this heartbreak for you. That there, Because I think you're doing a lot of forgiving and releasing and letting go. And as you're doing that, it's a, it's releasing that energy out of you and allowing that energy to go back to the people who sent it to you to begin with, right? King of Swords in reverse and a Knight of Cups. You uh, you could also have somebody coming towards you. I'm hearing fake apology or fake love. So you could have somebody coming towards you with fake love, maybe even with this reconciliation from the past. And it might give you the opportunity that you need to be like, shut down. Like, absolutely not. This is my chance to be like, kick you to the curb. Like, absolutely not. I am not on that ish like I used to be. So you can take that ish back where you got it from, right? Three of uh, three of cups in reverse. There could have been somebody here playing outside, um, kind of outside parties or something like that. Hang uh, the hanged one in reverse though. Yeah, so like it's like you're seeing, like you're out of, you're not, you're like I'm not stuck in this cycle anymore. I'm out of here. Why is this king of um, what is, what's going on with this king of swords in reverse here? Because it's giving me like kind of like liar. Also somebody who's like. Oh, hold on. Let's clarify this some more before I get too much into it. Okay. Five of Swords. So somebody definitely is some Five of Swords energy. Yeah, Knight of Wands. They're coming in really recklessly, really kind of without thinking about it. Page of Swords. They're coming in and delivering some kind of piece of information here. Um. Yeah. This de definitely with all these birds, right? Every single, well, you know, the pages, but like all these birds on all these different, like the the crow here, and then the, is it a pheasant? I heard pheasant. Pheasant, and then the cockatoo. It's like messages coming in, but it's for healing here with this dolphin here. Dolphins remind me of healing energy. But it is also this very reckless, could also be a very like sexual vibe. So be aware of that. You could have people coming towards you. Could be finding something else out. Oh, yes. People really with this five of swords too. People don't want to give up on you or people don't want to give this up. People don't want to end it. People don't want to let it go because um, you're getting into this empress energy here. Right? You're getting into this empress energy here and people are like, I don't want to let that go. I want to keep fighting about it. I, I you know, um, so somebody here coming in kind of controlling, kind of recklessly, without really thinking about it, without really planning anything, um, having some kind of piece of information, the moon, exactly, they got things, you know, they're not really giving you all the truth about the situation, so just be aware of that, page of wands, yeah, they're, br they're bringing in what they think is good news, the sun, they're bringing enlightenment to a situation, so I feel like with this, see that this is how you know yes this person might be coming to you with the intent to start drama or you might view it as drama but view it as a chance for you to kind of release and let go say what you need to say keep it classy keep it nice say what you need to say get this get this closure in the situation that you need to go and kick it out to the curb right that can be like i'm done with this energy get the close out energy that you really need get the justice right because this is coming back around in some kind of way to bring you justice so you might receive a piece of information that the person delivering it might come towards you with the intent to stir up drama but it's going to give you a it's going to give you information that perhaps is even deeper than this person really realizes right they might just be doing it because they're like oh listen to this drama but for you you're going to get some kind of piece of information that either psychically or your spirit guides or somebody has been letting you know some kind of something and you're like mm. so this person is going to come towards you with a completely different motive you know of for the conversation and they're not going to get 
something, you know, they're not going to get, there's something that just, you know, about the information that they're bringing forward. And it's going to mean something deeper to you than it's going to mean to that person. Right. So don't let yourself get drawn into any drama or any kind of situation like that, but just allow this situation to be what it is. So this, in some kind of way, this is justice coming back around for you, whether or not it's some kind of closure, whether or not it's a, you know, it's a, something that you thought intuitively and you're like, mm hmm, I know now. Thanks for letting me know. Close the door on this situation. I can walk away. It might be kind of hurtful is what I just heard too. I just, cause I just saw the three of swords as well. So it might be kind of hurtful. You know, it might be kind of surprising. It might be kind of hurtful. You might be like, wow, really? But okay. But I think like ultimately spirit is saying, understand that this is happening for your best and highest good so that you can completely close the door on something so that you can get the, the, re the, the resolution that it's like, they're showing me like a period. There's a period to the end of the sentence. Finally, something that was trailing along has, is finally like point, like it's over. Nine of cups. Something that you uh, that you might have still been fantasizing or over over enjoy over indulging about, and spirits like, okay, we're gonna have to let you know. Period. This is really over. Like, you know, you really need to end this. You really need to move on from it, right? They might really show you who somebody is. Like, you might have a vision of who somebody else, who somebody is in your mind, and now it's like, uh, no, we're gonna show you this who this person really is because this person has been deceiving you in the past, and we want you to know what's really actually going on in this situation. And it might be like, dang, like, wow, I didn't really realize that that's what was really going on. But I'm glad that I know. Looking back, you're going to be like, I'm glad that I know now, right? I just keep hearing that persistence. That five of swords keeps coming up in multiple readings that I've been doing here recently. It's like persistent. Like somebody is persisting. And it's like not giving up, not doing something like it's also con it's giving me a kind of like competitive vibe. But it's like, dude, like it's oh, it's like your spirit guides are like, it's over. It's done with. Give it up. Stop. You know, and I don't know if this is you or if it's somebody else, you know, saying something or doing something. And it's like, dude, it's like, like OK, it's over. Like you're beating a dead horse. Like it's over. It's done. Yeah, power off. Like go to go go sit down, take a rest, sleep, go to sleep somewhere or something. Yeah, the hanged one, it's over with. Hang one in reverse, right? It's over with. This is not gonna work. Like, stop. Ten of cups. This could have something to do with your family. Or this could be somebody who wants a ten of cups, right? It's like once you finally have this realization, you can give yourself this Ten of Cups, the conclusion, the happiness. You can decide, make a clear decision as to what's going to really bring about. And I really feel like they want me, yes, they want me to put this Ten of Cups on this a win-win outcomes forecast, right? Like a win-win outcomes forecast. Like it's going to work out. Everything's going to work out for you. Everything's working out for your favor. So just keep that in your mind. Even if something comes up, be like, okay, so this person might have one intent. They might have the intent to come and stir the pot, but what's really happening deeper than this that I need to see? What's happening here that spirit is trying to show me through these events that are happening? You know, that don't, now don't let yourself, I said, like I said, get drawn in to the drama or get drawn into this issue or get drawn in because it's also giving me somebody might come forward might have put themselves in some kind of compromising position or might be coming forward being like help help i put myself in this terrible position and you're like hmm because i was doing another reading earlier today that was like a per uh, you know a person could be starting drama to get your attention or starting doing something reckless to get your attention so just be aware of that Yeah, a win-win outcome is forecast. Ten of cups, ten of cups, two of cups, the sun card. I really feel like you're going towards happiness. You're going towards the tower. Yeah, there is a tower moment that's happening here, but it feels like a good tower. It feels like 
really good positive things coming into your life as a result of you letting go, moving on, releasing, letting go. It's like on the other side of this drama or something is like a brand new beginning for you in a different direction. Or for some of you, maybe, you know, this coming forward will allow, um, something else possibly or a misunderstanding to be worked out or something in, uh, about something that was happening in your past. Okay. But definitely this tower moment is happening here always for you. Initiation with spirit. Yeah. So. Oh, the death. Yeah. It's bringing a death process so that there can be a rebirth issue here. Um, something is ending so that something else grand great can begin. Uh, yeah. So shadow work here. You might be doing a lot of shadow work around this with this mirror scrying card. Okay. And this mirror and this came out, which is cottage with security, security. So you might be doing a lot of shadow work around feeling secure and putting in the work to, to receive this 10 of pentacles energy saying, no, I am good enough. I am good enough. I need to go inside to work on this, right? There's something inside of you, queen of pentacles, that's kind of maybe fighting against this queen of pentacles. It's time to show the real, the world, the really who you are, right? So you need to work on your security, your base chakra energy, right? You're like your lower chakras to help transmute any kind of negative energy to bring in that sacral uh, sacral fire tapping into your pure creativity energy in that root chakra to know that you're safe that you're secure that you can do this right high priest high priestess right responsibility no tapping into your intuition telling you yeah no it's it's given me a really big a really big thing of there was something your intuition has been telling you for a long time and you're going to have this big tower moment here in the sense of oh my gosh that's it like my intuition told me this for so long and I finally have like the physical evidence that's like it's right here in your face like yes your intuition was right about this um this could have been something that happened last year in autumn okay. Or the truth could come out in autumn around the fall. Okay. You're hearing October. Something could have happened around September of, or October of last year. And you're like, mm -hmm, I knew it. I knew it. Respect also, like I was saying earlier, right? Putting that that pinnacle, that respect energy on like your altar or your, or your um, I'm also seeing like the dedication card. Okay. That's in here protection yeah there's also there's a lot of protection i'm hearing um rejection is divine protection i really feel like you're gonna be like there is something some situation that you're that your intuition told you to walk away from or get out of there or just you know don't deal with this and it's gonna really come out that it's gonna be like oh wow like damn did i make a good decision on that <laughs> right damn did i make a good decision to decide to do that like oh my gosh yeah, secrets in reverse. So this clearance energy is coming in here because secrets in reverse, you're finding out something that people were, have been hiding from you, okay? Or things that you've been hiding from yourself, okay? Things that you've been hiding from yourself or that things were hiding from you, pops, perhaps things that you didn't, you weren't even aware were causing this three of swords energy, like, like you felt it internally, but you're like, I don't know for sure this happened. Well, this is going to come out. Yeah, look. I'm really getting like this is something that happened around October. Yeah, with this guardian here, your spirit guides stopped you. It's okay. Look, for some of y'all, I'm just going to be honest. Okay, for some of y'all, somebody might have been doing some kind of magic against you or something. It's possible. Um, but it's coming out. It's coming out. Like you're going to find out that you were protected, guardian. Okay, that you were protected here in some kind of way from something that happened in the fall or something that was going to happen in the fall and it didn't happen, swear, you know, <sighs> the number of things that that you don't even know, disasters that almost happened because your spirit guides were like, swerve, don't go there, go right instead of going left, like, right? It might be one of those moments where you're like, I don't really know anything that happened. Exactly. It didn't happen because you got saved from it, right? Um, and you might have never, you might have been like, well, why was it so important for me to not do that or for that to not happen or what was really going on? Like what really happened? Like you're, you're, you're going to find out. And it might be, like I said, a kind of situation where you're like, oh my gosh, really? But then you're like, okay, well, glad to know that I was protected and I was safe and that my, you know, summer. Yeah. So you could find this out in the summer. Okay. 
You might find this out closer to the summer energy, okay, here. This is also giving me Queen of Wands energy. So I feel like you were protected here. Um, power in reverse and ritual. Somebody literally, yes, oh my God, some altar dedication there it is right this dedication that you gave to your spirit guides or something somebody was doing some kind of ritual or some kind of something to try to was pray or at least praying against talking down against your prosperity and you having power and you're going to find this out it's going to come out i'm hearing confession this person literally might just like up and confess to you like i did this and you're like i know you did and I'm glad we're not, and I'm glad that you're not in my life anymore or something like that. You'd be like, okay. Like, yes, I did do that. I'm so sorry. Like, okay. Thanks for letting me know. <sighs> Hex vanishing. I'm telling you. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna go through an intensification of your power of your powers because whatever this was, like the secret is coming out. Secret's coming out against somebody who was giving you the evil eye or talking against you, talking bad against you, trying to take away some kind of prosperity or power from you. Like you're gonna find this out. You're gonna be like, wow, this person was an enemy the whole time, or this person was an enemy of mine, and I didn't even realize it. Or I kind of got the feeling that I should separate myself from that person, and you're gonna find out why. Cauldron containment. This person was trying to keep it quiet, but it's coming out. Ooh. I tell you, this witch's wisdom will always be spilling the tea on somebody trying to play around in your energy. I swear, it's always like, ha, I got it for you, sis. Don't worry. Like, I got it for you. Thank you. I know there was something else you wanted. Exactly. Somebody was really, really, really alchemist in reverse. This reminds me of, like, the... I'm telling you. Ground with that grounding in reverse back there, too. Herbal kitchen. Somebody mixing up shit in the kitchen. Somebody mixing up shit in the back room. That's what I just heard. Yeah. Prosperity and imagination. Somebody wanted your imagination or something creative. Some kind of air energy that you have blowing in here. Creativity. Uh, your spark. Right? That like spark of imagination or whatever. They wanted it to go because they knew whatever this was was going to bring you some kind of prosperity. They wanted to shut that down for you. Damn. I'm telling y'all, y'all, this deck feels so heavy. <sighs> Wand intention and reverse. So whatever this, whatever the intention this person had reversed on them. And I'm, I'm that's going to be honest about that. Yeah. So this person could have done something in the fall or they could have done something in the summer or you're going to find out in the summer or the fall, something like that. Something between the summer and the fall is gonna gonna pop off for you okay the secrets are gonna come out and you're gonna be like what um a feminine energy here so the feminine lady goddess energy or whatever the wiccan rye ethos yeah i really feel like some kind of you could have been doing like return to cinder or something like that I feel like it's like they're let, they're saying that it was a feminine energy that broke some kind of rules. Like you broke the rules. You broke the rules. And ye harm no one as ye will and never mind the rule of three. Oh, what you send out comes back to thee. Whoops. Whoops. I said I said that you returned to center, right? Somebody it's like you broke the rules. Like you don't do that shit. Or like, hey, like, oh hey bud, what you send out to me comes back to you times three. Be mindful. Be mindful. Look on the back. I didn't even see that. That autumn. Someone said summer and autumn. Yeah. This is gonna come out. <laughs> or somebody did something between summer and autumn last year.
Hags, this time you... Somebody better get ready. <laughs> somebody get ready. Because if somebody did some kind of hex work against you or they said some kind of something or did some kind of spell work against you between the summer and fall of last year, okay? That shit's coming back to them times three. Hex. Wow. Wow. This deck feels way lighter now that that's come out. Wow. 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 Mm -hmm. Somebody mixing up in the kitchen, like I said before, mixing up in the kitchen, homecoming. You might have somebody coming back to you. How you look like that, how you look like trying to curse or trying to do something, trying to hex somebody and then trying to go back to them. Hmm. Oh no, I'll be your friend. Clear, clear, cleansing in reverse. Depends in reverse. This person. This person is dirty. Yeah, they just showed, like, you know how people have that saying, like, blood on their hands? But it's like dirt. I saw dirt on somebody's hands. Like, dirt on their hands. You've been digging out in the garden? That's what I just heard. You've been digging out in the garden? Just heard it. You know what you did. You know what you did. And this person, they know. You know what they did. You know what they did, and they know what they did. So... Mm -mm. be mindful this person might be trying to come back towards you before this shit hits them <laughs> protection exactly you are 100% protected from something in the fall and the autumn something like this A hundred. you are 100% protected from something <laughs> so, this is, you, you know <laughs> Oh, uh, was that like kind of like TikTok or like meme sound where it's like, bitch? <laughs> yeah, that's what they just played. They were like, <laughs> you thought. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, somebody straight up thought they got away with something. They were like, oh, maybe I got away with it. Maybe it'll just be okay. They'll never know. They'll never know. Don't ever know I was in the kitchen cooking up something. This person might have put something in your food. Oh, whoa. They might have done something to a masculine around Christmas time, around Yule. They might have done something here to a masculine around Christmas. Put something in their food. That's also a possible thing. If you're a masculine energy here, something could have happened with you around Christmas, or something could have happened between you and a masculine in Christmas time. Somebody he like hates you to, for this to happen. Your ancestors saw though. Ancestors remembering. I remember your ancestors remembers. They saw. They haven't forgot. They just been waiting. And they're like, no, it's okay. Let them think they got away with it. Let them think they got away with it. Cleansing in reverse. Yeah, you dirty. You, you got you got that dirt on your hands. They know. They know. Get them herbs in your hands. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that spirit. I'm not. That's too messy. Imagination in reverse. This person. Balance is being restored here. So whatever darkness somebody tried to send you. You're about to bloom and they're about to to wither. That's what they say, wither. Imagination in reverse. I just heard you like imagination. Oh, wow. A shift in the wind. Yeah, like air. See how that zephyr is in the background, right? They're like blowing like... And I'm seeing like this thing like shift. I'm seeing it like blow one way. And then stop and blow back the other way. Intensification. Respect. Yeah, your respect, protection. I don't think this person knows uh, how protected you were. 
Ooh, Chalice in Reverse. Fulfillment in Reverse. Yeah, they did not get what they wanted. Imagination, the fulfillment for them, for this person is in Reverse. I feel like, um, yeah, the end. Death with the magic, right? Whatever magic they did is coming to an end. And it's it's not coming to an end. It's just coming back to them. Like, I don't, like they're showing me like something. It's like a, like a black fog. And it's coming and like bounces off of something. And then it just kind of sits up in the air. Like building and building and building and building. And this other person is like, I guess I just got away with it. La, 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 la. And then it just... Boom, like falls on them. I don't know. I just heard if you want to, if you feel if you feel like you might want to, you can pray for this person to not be like hurt as badly as the times three or times ten, whatever you sent back to them, whatever, however the, the strong, the return of <laughs> your answer just said bitch, it's strong. It's strong. Like your and like you might have just put a little and then you're like, no, just go back to them. And your ancestors was like, and take this and this and this and this back with you too. Like, so if you want to, you can ask your ancestors to not completely like level this person if you really want to. But I don't know. Depends on how bad it was they sent to you. Union. Somebody might have been doing some kind of union spell on you. Or somebody might have been doing some kind of come to me spell or like love spell or something on you. But they didn't get their fulfillment and that balance is coming back. I'm telling you. Like if they wanted you to wither, like it's gonna it's like I'm seeing just like like swap. Like swap and you're just gonna like grow. Yeah, clearance. Whatever they try to do is clearing out. Oh, their power. Yeah, their powers. I feel like this person is feeling their powers wither away this spring right now. I don't know. Respect. Yeah. Also, give back in gratitude. Be thankful for your ancestors and that for, for doing this. For... Uh, Dude, this person, they wanted like, they didn't want you to feel grounded. They want you to lose your home. They want you to lose like everything, your fulfillment, your happiness, your prosperity. Like they wanted you to have nothing. Why you want to take everything from somebody? And then also you might've had multiple people. You might've had some person wanting to do like love spills on you or something like that. And then, or on love spills on this masculine energy, possibly around Christmas time. All right. And then somebody was also simultaneously doing spells to take like to take all your power, to take all your happiness, your creativity, all your everything away from you. Like, damn, they were spreading themselves real thin. Concealments here. But the concealment card is actually about throwing off, like showing the world who you really are and that cloak actually coming off. So this person tried to like throw stones and hide their hands. Well, it's coming out. High priestess, you're going to know about this. 100%. You already know. Like you already know, but you're going to see it. Like you're really going to see it. Like it's really going to start really rebounding and hitting people really hard. Like you're going to hear about it left and right is what I'm hearing. Like you're going to hear this person having a hard time and that person having a hard time and this person having a hard time. And you're going to be like... Why are these people having a hard time? Because they was all praying against you. Like, damn. Or it could just be one or two people, you know, or one person in particular. Could be a fire, a fire sign energy. Or this person just tried a bunch of different things. They just tried a bunch of different things to, like, bring you down. Oh, I just literally... Heard somebody saying, like, I can't stand you. Like, I can't stand you. It's like somebody, like, sitting in a dark room, like, looking at a candle. And they're like, I can't stand this person. Like, I can't stand this Which, what did I just say? Fire. The 
This might be somebody that like utilizes like fire gazing or something. Do they like wash you or something through the flame? Healer. Spell work manifestation. Fire with this healer energy. I really feel like you've really released all this. Yeah. I really, yeah. Yeah, whatever this is, I really feel like you released it with this moon energy here. Um, you might be doing like moon cleansing and releasing. Oh, yes. So you might have um, wrote out letters to people, forgiving them or something like that, and then burning the letters and releasing it. That energy is like coming back around. Whereas, like I said earlier, like you forgave, you released, and now that all that negative energy is going back to that other person. Or like now that... That energy, that negative energy they sent to you is just going back to them. Tarot cards. This person could use tarot cards or you could. I mean, you're here watching a tarot card reading, so definitely that could be it, right? Oh, there's such a pretty sunset outside right now. Candles, right? I said that, right? I said that, right? That somebody... You could have also been, like like I said, lighting return to sender, black candles, protection candles, things like that, neutralizing candles to send all this energy back that really helped heal whatever kind of weird-ass anti-prosperity freaking ritual they were doing or whatever it was, energy exchange or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah, all that's being balanced out. That balance card just keeps coming out because it's just letting you know. Like the balance, the balance is being restored is what I'm hearing. Like the balance, the balance is being restored in this situation. Like some somebody unrightfully took something from you or was just blaming you for something that you didn't even have anything to do with, right? Sending all this hateful energy and all that. Well, all that's coming back to that person. So whatever kind of nasty ass energy they sent out to you is coming back to them. I just keep hearing that times three, times three. What you send out to me comes back to the time three. Like, you got to be careful with that shit. All right. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> work through any kind of fears that you have about this because emotions could be running high when this person steps forward or when this inner, like when this revelation comes to you or whatever it is, like you get comfort, this confirmation energy coming forward, okay? Don't let pride get in your way of this. Don't let, you know, work through any kind of your fears that you might have around this. Don't let any, your ego or anything step into it because to understand, right? You have all this good, new, wonderful energy coming in for you, right? And the energy of that is gaining momentum. Communication is key. So how you communicate and how you work your way through this, like, it's really going to be key. Meditate and contemplate. Yeah, meditate on that shit. Just let it be like zen about it and be like, whatever. Okay, bye. <laughs> whatever. Okay, bye. Damn, they did that. Damn. Okay, well. Prepare thyself. I hope, you will. I hope you're ready. I hope you can take all the energy you tried to send to somebody else. Like, I... <laughs> Spirit said they can't. Okay, well. That's usually why people... <laughs> that's usually why people do that shit. It's because they can't take that shit back. Anyway, all right. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate you. I hope this gave you the love, light, and clarity that you were looking for in this situation. I didn't expect it to turn so light. But anytime I bring out this little witch, this the witch's wisdom, it gets a little witchy. It gets a little, it gets, it gets really deep sometimes about some things. Power in reverse, yeah. Whatever power this person had over you, this new moon cycle that's coming in, this full moon in Virgo is really breaking this. Like it's ending like fulfillment in reverse, they're not getting what they wanted. And I really feel like you're secure, right? You're secure. You're being protected. You're safe. You're secure. A lot of you also have a masculine, um, remember I said earlier where I was like, you might have like a particularly like a masculine ancestor that liked to smoke cigars or something that might be really strong for some of you, or they might really like to play music. Okay. Playing the flute. That's not the flute, but you know, um, the flutes or the violin is what I was hearing. So um, if you have any of that energy for you, okay, it's out there protecting you. Yeah, because whatever intention this person, whatever intentions, negative intentions they had for you is coming back to this person. Man. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the spirit said there's nothing you can do to stop it. Like it's coming back for you. Like that's it. 
Like as soon as soon as that's the risk that you take. As soon as you send that out, if somebody knows how to discard it, like it's coming back to you. That's the risk that you take. That's the risk that you take is that you better be prepared to take that shit back. Plus more if they feel like it when you send that shit out. All right. Thank you guys very much. I wish you the best of luck uh, all, as always moving forward with this uh, full moon energy here. Okay. Remember, you know, come into yourself, give out peace and love and, uh, you know, pray for, <laughs> pray for these people. Okay. Um, if you feel guided to, um, thank you so very much. If you're interested in any of the, the decks that you see here on this channel, it's always listed down below what they are. Okay. Um, like the content if you liked it. Um, <laughs> share if you know somebody this, uh, who this message should really help. Okay. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell so you can know when I upload it's daily. Okay. But um, so you can be um, notified when I upload a new video okay thank you guys so very much for all the likes all the clicks all the shares everything else for all for all the subscribers or people out there just watching I really appreciate you guys okay let me know in the comment section down below if this resonated for you all right um you're also welcome to come back at a later time after the full moon has already passed and you know in retrospect look back and be like oh shit this happened in March and this popped off in March and Blah, 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 you know, whatever, you, blah, 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 whatever you got to say, okay? <laughs> Thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate you. Down below is also my contact information if you feel guided to reach out and get a personal reading from me, as well as links um, if you feel guided to donate or tip to the channel. Thank you very much in advance for that, as well as links to my personal um, or <laughs> links to my virtual shop where you guys can purchase the decks that I sell as well. I really appreciate you guys for everything. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Happy full moon.